Hello, my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're gonna to talk about why your drone battery is not charging and the simple ways that you can get it charging again. This video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com, so go check that out. Also, DroneFlyingPro is an awesome resource for all of your drone questions. I've been uh, trying my hardest to answer the questions the best I can to make it the best place on the internet to go to answer your drone-related questions. I'm gonna continue pumping out the content, so go check it out, because it is updated every single week, multiple times a week. Okay, go do that. Now, let's look at the top reasons and why your drone battery is not charging. These drone batteries are special. They're special because they're made of a lithium polymer composite. So that's very different to the sort of battery that is in a laptop. Um, the polymer in it makes it a little bit more finicky when it comes to care, maintenance, uh, charging, that sort of thing. Um, and the reason uh, this drone battery is so special is the lithium polymer composite not only makes it incredibly lightweight, you know, a lithium battery of this size would be relatively hefty, um, but also the energy density packed inside means that not only do you get lightweight, but you get the amount of energy that can keep your drone in the air for 20 to like 40 minutes these days, which is just an insane amount of energy stored up. So uh, yeah, you know, these batteries are the number one thing that keeps your drone in the air. These and the propellers, I guess, are the most important things. So um, it can be really frustrating when they're not working. So the first thing you should do is make sure that the firmware is update. Now, I know that sounds a bit weird because you can't like plug your computer into this battery, but what you can do is plug this into your drone and update your drone's firmware. Um, now, some people online and some of the forums have been saying that that solved their problem and it's an easy fix, doesn't cost anything. So that's the first thing I would do. Plug your battery into your drone, update the firmware by plugging your drone into the computer or by connecting it to the DJI Go4 app or whatever app you're using to connect with your drone and make sure that you have got the most up-to-date firmware for your drone and in turn for your battery. I carry with me two batteries at all times and that's because while one is flying, one is charging or if I know that I've only got to fly for about an hour, this sort of gets me sorted for that flight mission. Now the thing is, is that as you are using these and as these are discharging, they do get relatively hot. Um, and also while they're charging, they can also build up a fair amount of heat as well. And uh, if you've got a car charger, you can actually uh, sort of charge up, you know, in a hot car, the energy flow, so the flow of electrons from your car battery to the battery, uh, the drone battery, will actually cause heating as well. And so you get this kind of weird heating effect and your drone battery will not charge if it gets too hot. Now, all of these batteries, they look kind of small and you know relatively insignificant, but in fact, they are absolutely cram-packed with technology to keep this battery safe because it's not kind of uh, part of our nature as humans to look after these electronics the way they need to be looked after. And so if your drone battery gets too hot, the smart battery or the controller can say, stop charging this battery because it's starting to get dangerously hot for the polymer composite inside, which can easily be damaged at high temperatures. So if you've just got off a flight, let it cool down before you charge it. Or if, you're, uh, if you've got it stored in a hot place, like in a car or on a windowsill or just in a hot room, or if you live in a, you know, a hot climate like we live in Australia here, then uh, just make sure you keep your batteries in a cool location. Make sure they're really cold or like, you know, cold to the touch um, and uh, then try charging them. And that may be your problem. Now I said that these batteries are smart, they are absolutely smart, and they will actually stop charging if high amperage or a short circuit current is uh, detected. So what you need to do is both of those things come down to your charger and the battery. So check your charger out, make sure that um, the charger has no exposed wires, make sure that there's nothing kind of untoward with the charger, and also go check out that the, the 
uh, outlet that the charger is plugged into because that can also have an impact on the sort of uh, amperage that the, um, that the drone battery is able to draw from the charging port. So high amperage and short circuits are the number one thing that will stop your drone battery from charging. And it's relatively simple. We can't do anything about the internals in here, but what we can do is check the charger of the battery to make sure that there's no exposed wires, make sure that um, you know nothing smells like it's kind of uh, short circuited in there. Um, make, you know, just check the heat, check the smell, make sure that um, when you plug this in, the light comes on. Um, and that is pretty much the only thing you can do. Uh, replacing your battery charger is relatively inexpensive these days and it could be the one thing that saves you especially because you know I carry my charger around me in my backpack regularly and the constant in and out and the disconnecting of certain wires and stuff can you know damage the wires the twisting the zipping it up in a bag cramming it in all of that can cause some issues and therefore you should Replace your charger if you are unsure about its condition. There is one thing that will charge this battery and that's metal contact to metal contact. Now in here, you will see there's like little fins. Now these fins are uh, very specific in terms of what they tell the controller about the battery. And some of them are for sort of passing current and, and charge into the battery. Now, if these get damaged or the connector on the charger gets damaged, that can signal to the battery that something is wrong. Now, um, these are relatively well protected. And I think on a majority of drones, uh, there's plastic kind of casing around them, but you know, it, you can get moisture in there. You can, uh, inadvertently bend a pin you know it's not uh it's not too difficult to kind of rush and damage either the the fit the little metal contacts in the battery or the metal contacts in the charger um, and so yes check those look for corrosion look for bent pins and make sure that they're nice and shiny. A nice lustrous metal means that it will be conducting electricity incredibly well and that's what you wanna look for. And if in doubt, um, replace the charging cable or just stop using the battery if you notice there's a fair amount of corrosion or bent pins inside here. And just by looking now, I can see that, yep, it's all good, they're all even, there's no weird discoloration and they're nice and shiny, so we're good to go. One of the last things that you should check is the battery health. Now, with the DJI Go 4 app, you plug your battery into the drone, connect to the drone with the app, and you can click on battery health, and that will tell you whether or not the battery is in a good condition, um, and it will tell you how many times the drone battery has been charged up. Now, that's really important because these drone batteries have a lifetime of about two to three years, or three to 500 cycles, whatever comes first. So if you've had your drone battery for a long Long time, definitely check to see how many times it's been charged up, particularly important as well if you've bought your drone second hand, um, and also check for the battery health because the DJI Go For app will tell you exactly you know the condition and whether or not you should replace it. Now I've had these for about a year and a half, so they're about halfway through their lifespan. They're relatively expensive because of the smarts in there and also the lithium ion polymer sort of technology isn't inexpensive. Uh, this is for the DJI Mavic Air, the first one. And uh, yeah, I, you know, that's really the battery health. There's nothing you can do about it. Once they go, they go and you need to replace it. You know, these are uh, exchangeable, replaceable components of your drone. And it's so very important that you take good care of them. Uh, keep them cool. Don't get let them get too damp. Uh, well, don't let them get damp at all. Don't let them get too hot or too cold. Um, and, uh, you know, just treat them, I guess, like you would a laptop. You know, you wouldn't leave your laptop in, a sun, in the sun. You wouldn't leave your laptop in the car for overheating. You know, all of that sort of stuff. Treat them with respect and they'll last a very long time, I guarantee you. So there are all of the things you can do to make sure that your battery is charging. 
Ultimately, do all those things, but if it's still not working, reach out to the manufacturer because drone batteries do not last forever and they're so clever, so smart, and you know the technology in here ensures that they charge quickly, efficiently, with low heat um, buildup, and uh, you know they can go wrong. So if you've tried all of those things and it's still not working, reach out to the manufacturer, and in a lot of times, they'll replace the uh, drone battery for free because it can be defective um, and uh, you know, they want, it, they want you to have a good experience with their drone, and so they'll replace it quickly. So that is your fail-safe option. After trying all the things in this video, go and get in contact with the manufacturer, and they'll replace it for you. Until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day flying your drone, and I shall see you in the next video.